All right, guys, so I realized that I didn't make an intro for this video. So real quick, I'm going to be showing you pretty much my process on uh, from the time that I start painting a bill in the head all the way to taping it to having it dry. The way I did it, it's more so steps. It's not an actual like how to wire and how to paint. You want more of those videos? I got tons of other birds I'm going to be practicing on pretty much. This bird right here. I'm going to try to get it as best as I can. There's going to be tons of tape all over it because I'm trying to hold every single feather exactly where I want it. We are doing a live every Wednesday at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So if you got questions or you got uh, recommendations for me, uh, just leave them in the comments or hit me up on Wednesday when I go live at 8 Eastern Standard Time. Hopefully I can continue putting out some good content for y'all. We're going to go ahead and jump right into it. I'm going to paint the head. All right, she's all painted up. Black and King's Gold. Next, what I like to use is Mod Podge. I'll go ahead and put that on there after this is 100% dry. So I'd wait probably a couple hours before you put that on. So I haven't did the Mod Podge yet, but we can go ahead and assemble the neck material. So pretty much what I do is trim it down so that way it can fit in the groove here. I drill a hole about the size of the wire Another one that's about a little bit less than a quarter of an inch deep, so that way I can run the wire up, make a loop down through, and run it through the head. And then I'm going to use some plastic bonder, kind of like JB Weld, and put it around uh, both holes to turn around and hold it. And I typically do this the night before I actually start hanging a bird. All right, so I went ahead and added uh, the Mod Podge onto the bill. Now, what I could have done different here on top is I could have ran like a trench to get that wire sunk all the way down into the head but really it's only i mean up there just like a tad so i probably won't be able to notice but in like a master taxidermy person they probably will want after i mount it but um that's how i do it and i don't know kind of worked for me but i will get better at the trenching uh, as time goes on but i went ahead and got it all hung up here this is how i do it so typically when i hang my birds like i'll hang it off this platform but when I go to mount the neck um, and get the get the head ready, this is how I do it. So I put all that pressure back on this wire and I allow, I allow all that um, epoxy slash uh, JB weld to go ahead and form overnight. The Mod Podge, so it's white when you put it on and as it dries, it, it goes, goes to clear. So don't mind like if you see uh, some of the white buildup right there, all that will dis disappear and dissipate. And uh, it pretty much makes it look as if like he just got done in the water. It's not glossy, it's matte. You'll see it tomorrow. I'll make sure I pony it out. All right, it's the next morning now. The bird is completely thawed out and I'm getting a sink filled up with soapy water. I used lukewarm water at the very beginning for the first wash because it breaks up the blood. And then for the next probably 20 washes uh, with soap, and rinsing, um, I'll cool it all the way down to where it's cold water. But if you hear the kids in the background, I'm sorry, just hang with me. Hopefully you learned something from this. So this right here is after two washes and this is the rent side. You can tell how it's like really nasty looking water. So it's almost yellowish. That's why you gotta keep going, keep washing back and forth, back and forth. So I'll probably do this maybe 10 or 15 times and still look at my rinse water and get all the soap out and make sure the water is completely clear. So you can see here how there's no bubbles. So I got out all the soap and the water is crystal clear. So as you can tell, my hands are all wilted up. That was 15 washes back and forth. So about nine with soap and the rest going just rinsing, rinsing, and rinsing to get all the soap out. Now we're gonna move on to gassing it. So what I do here, I use, just use the Coleman Camp Fuel or white gas. Uh, you can pick it up at Walmart. And I use a pan, put the duck in there, I cover it all up and then I use, make sure you use uh, some rubber gloves and I just keep working it, mixing it, making sure that that gas gets up in the feathers and it helps uh, the drying process be a lot faster. So instead of just blow drying, a wet bird with water, blowing it with this camp fuel or white gas, uh, it makes your dry, dry, drying process, it probably cuts it in half. But 
if you smoke, do not smoke after doing this because your bird will burst into flames. So, um, yeah, keep all lighters, all that sort of stuff, sparks away from your bird and obviously while you're doing this. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this thing up and let that gas work in, in the feathers for, let's say about five, 10 minutes. And then I'm going to go ahead and move to my workbench and start blow drying. All right, we're about, I'd say about 75% dry. So this is when I go into the actual mounting process. Let's go ahead and get this bird inside and work some wires. All right, so pretty much all I do, I put bull racks inside the bird. I wire up the legs and the wings, put the head through, and then I work with the head, then I'll do the wings, then I'll do the, the legs, and then go ahead and put the pen through the, uh, through the tail to hold the tail on. So I'm all wired up now. Next step, I am going to glue uh, the skin to the bill and then go ahead and start sewing. And I use a baseball stitch for the sewing down. And I'm gonna start from the chest and work my way down to the tail. Some people start at the tail and work their way up, but whichever way you think is easier. Now I'm starting just in the wings, just the head, fix the tail. Go ahead and uh, inject the feet, get those ready for paint, and then start taping and preening. This is a very long process. Take your time with it. So we're all taped up now. I think he turned out pretty good, if I say so myself. Um, yeah, lots of tape. So I wanted to make sure like a lot of these feathers stay exactly in place of where I put them. Um, I always have trouble on this part of the back. So if y'all can, I don't know, if you know any tips to keep that from looking so ruffled, um, where like, it's almost like that right there and it's all along the back. Um, so if you know any tips, leave them in the comments if you if you don't mind. Um, also the, the primaries or secondaries, whichever, um, getting those to line up. So I always have the toughest uh, the toughest uh, issue with that, this side wasn't as bad. That side was very hard to get lined up. So I know it's not perfect. I don't claim to be the best taxidermist, but I think this is like my sixth bird, seventh bird. So we're getting there. Let's see around this backside, I taped all those feathers down as well. I got the feet injected, got them all taped up. I'll check the feet out pretty much every day so that way they don't start to um, shrivel up on each other. Um, I'll just stretch them back out, keep keep the the, uh, the webbing nice and open. So, and then I'll paint it and uh, do any last minute changes before it all dries up. So it does stay taped here for a bit. I appreciate y'all watching. And the next videos, we do a live every Wednesday. It's at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And the next video, will more than likely be another calling video. So just stay tuned for that. And also I'm gonna be working on a boat a little bit. I'm still waiting for the drive shaft to come in. I'll probably fiddle around with the engine, get that mounted. Still waiting on throttle to come in from Amazon. So lots of moving pieces, just trying to stay up with it. September is coming. It's gonna get here before we know it. So y'all hang in there. I've been Chris, Ducklope Outdoors. Y'all stay safe out there.